Well, hello everybody, Crypto Rick here. I just wanted to make a, a video here. This one here is going to be my part two of, uh, of my Bitcoin cryptocurrency how-to tutorial. Uh, in this video, I want to show you how to send the Bitcoin that you purchased. In the first video, I showed you how to purchase Bitcoin from Coinbase. Now I want to explain uh, how you, you'll send Bitcoin to people uh, just like any other currency, in order to, for it to have any sort of value, it has to be able to be transferred from one person to another. So, uh, before I get into the actual how-to, one thing to keep in mind is that what you use for Bitcoin and all cryptocurrencies are called wallets, okay? And uh, you'll have an individual wallet ID for every single coin that you own. So if you have Bitcoin and uh, Ethereum or Bitcoin and Litecoin, uh, each of those will have its own separate wallet and its own separate wallet address. In addition, if you sign up on any other platforms, programs, uh, exchanges or anything else like that that utilizes these, these cryptocurrencies, those will have an embedded, uh, an embedded wallet as well. Uh, so for example, today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you exactly how to uh, send to one of the platforms that I use. Okay, so all you're going to want to do is come to your accounts. And it's, it's pretty straightforward. You're going to see in Coinbase, it's simply going to say send. You'll click send and enter the address. This is the address, the wallet address. It's going to be your specific account number uh, that you have for whatever program or person that you're sending it to. Okay, so for this program that I use, this is one of my investment programs. Uh, it's called Lendera. Uh, this video is not really on here, but I, I use this frequently. So that's why I'm going to just go ahead and use this one. So uh, on my wallet screen here, just copy and paste your wallet, right? It's always good to verify. So 3MKC, 3MKC. Okay, one more thing that uh, I talk about a lot is security. Always good to double and triple check to make sure uh, you're, you're sending things to the, to the right place. You don't want to be sending them to the, to the wrong place. So you can uh, send max. You can type in how much how many dollars you want to send, or you can type in how much Bitcoin itself you want to send. So I'm just going to send you know $85 of the 90 in Bitcoin that I have in here right now. I'll hit continue. I have two-factor authentication set up, which I highly recommend. Uh, what this does is uh, for Coinbase, it'll send you a text message to your cell phone that you verified when setting up your account. So that way, nobody can just get your username and password and start withdrawing your, your money. All right. So I suggest take every security precaution that you can. And now you can see here, your transaction is on the way. That's it. I just sent it. One thing to keep in mind that is, is different than everything else in, in our world right now is sending Bitcoin is not instant. Okay, that is extremely important to understand. Bitcoin being sent is simply going into the, the, the Bitcoin network and waiting for what's called the Bitcoin miner uh, to, to add this transaction to a block and into the blockchain. Okay, and in Coinbase, you can simply click view details here and view transaction to see your status. Every receiving company, whether it's Lendera or an, ex uh, an exchange, uh, will have specific criteria as to when the Bitcoin will actually show up in, in the wallet. Okay, Some are one confirmation, some are up to six uh, confirmations. So that's right here. You can see how many confirmations is zero right now because I literally just sent it, right? So what a confirmation is, is when, a, uh, when, your, pro when your transaction gets added in and processed by a, a miner in the blockchain, okay? So I know that that's some, uh, some terminology that's a little, little different, so don't, no need to worry about that right now. It's a little bit more advanced stuff. All you have to know is how to send it is via wallet addresses and understanding that is not instant. That is one of the, the largest differences between what, uh, what we do on day-to-day -day with our you know, credit card and cash transactions versus what cryptocurrency uh, is all about. There are some faster ones besides uh, Bitcoin. You know, Litecoin is actually much, much faster than sending Bitcoin. Ethereum uh, is faster and they have some additional uh, technologies that are pretty cool. 
Bitcoin, again, is simply one of the many, many coins out there. It's just the, the largest, most expensive, uh, most commonly uh, talked about and the pioneer uh, of this industry. But it is by far uh, not the only option that we have when sending currency. OK, so with that being said, that's all it takes to to send Bitcoin to somebody. And, you know, usually it'll take about 15 minutes to a sometimes a half hour or so for, for a confirmation to come through. So that, that's an average. Uh, it can go up and down depending on how many people are sending um, at the same exact time, right? And, and what the minor fees are and all, all that stuff. So something to keep in mind, right? It is not instant. That is, that is one of the most important things to understand. That it's not missing. It, there's no delay. The beauty of blockchain technology is that once something is sent out into the blockchain and verified on the blockchain, there's, there's no altering, no deleting, no, no messing with, with that transaction because it's simultaneously being processed on, you know, at this point, millions and millions of supercomputers. So in order to, to delete some sort of transaction record, you have to hack into every single one of those computers simultaneously, which is simply not possible to do with, with today's technology. So. So that's my my, uh, my quick little video here on how to send Bitcoin. So number one thing to know, it's not instant. Number two thing to know, wallet IDs are are like your bank your bank account numbers when it comes to uh, all these platforms, exchanges, or anything like that. So you'll send from your wallet. You'll usually have to hit send, or sometimes it'll say withdraw, and you'll generate your wallet in whatever uh, platform you're using. Or if you know a person that you're sending Bitcoin to, they'll they'll have to give you their wallet address. Simply put that wallet address in and hit send. It, it is very, very easy to use once you've done it a couple times. And uh, I hope that this video has helped. So that's all I have for you today on how to send Bitcoin from one wallet to another. I'm trying to keep these videos as uh, short as possible. That way, if you're looking for one specific item, it, it'll be easy to find without having to watch a, a half hour to an hour video and in looking for the right place. So that's my video here on sending Bitcoin, sending cryptocurrency from one wallet to another. I hope it's helped. Thank you guys very much for your time. And until next time, happy crypto hunting.